Now let's make sure we do a old school bubble. Hi, Adam. <laughs> Hello. What Fuck is that, where, you, where have you been, cunt? Fucking, I didn't cry and shit myself. I was there. Fucking working. Fucking, well, I went for a fucking job and didn't get it, so that was sad boy me out. Uh, but uh, yeah. the training course and stuff, and I got an exam now, fucking start the next month. You get some more pretty creds, and uh, yeah, try again for another job after that, innit? Fuck, guy, man. It's all about yeah, just constantly getting better brain, and but... learning more, innit? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, guy. But the issue That's is like... when you. Oh, sorry about the fucking carry on. Yeah, go on. I was going to say, fucking, the issue when you're fucking working so much is that you just fucking, you can't be asked for anything else after that. Like, no, yeah, And man. it just drains it, and all of a sudden you've got fucking two months gone, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly, but that's, yeah. that's what I did summer last year, was to remember, mm-hmm. I, I did fucking 11 festivals, just yeah. back to back in them. Summer of chaos, like. <laughs> I, I, was, I was just so ill all the way through. Yeah, I remember fucking, didn't you, like, I think you went to bed, like, for the first time ever or something. Didn't you? Oh, you just, like, just, just rolled over. my own bed. <laughs> Yeah, he just went to bed and everyone's like, Dylan's in his tent. <laughs> he was like, weird, man. <laughs> Everyone was like, look, in fear, he's like, Dylan's asleep. <laughs> what would you mean, Dylan's asleep? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was because the week before I was at a... Yeah, I had like two yeah. days at home. And I was like, I gotta go sleep in another fucking yeah. field. And he was like doing keto at the time as well, so you probably fucked. Because all you would eat was mayonnaise and jalapenos, if I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a oh, plate yeah. of jalapenos and meat with it. Just eating cheese, jalapenos, <laughs> and pulled pork yeah. I was just like why have I got diarrhea all the time <laughs> yeah. but I, uh, I still had load, loads of whiskey in me though you know oh fuck I gotta get that I want to I want to get back on keto yeah yeah the psychological like, oh sorry about yeah, the psychological barrier is a bastard though it's, yeah. dude it's better for you than fucking as long as you do it properly because yeah. people people think keto and they think Atkins and Atkins was like eat all the butter you can <laughs> What does that do for you, Oh, but well, it, it does boost ketosis if you yeah. have a high fat diet. Oh, okay. But, yeah, as long as you just eat le- meat and vegetables, just eat meat and vegetables. That's all you need to eat ever. Um, like, we important. like to be, like, yeah, we like important. to be. Um, what's it called? Educational at the start of episodes. Do you know, fucking. You know, they said all about um, saturated fats and shit mm. in meat was bad and it was giving you cancer. <coughs> True. It's not true. Brand it's facts, carbs man, and yeah. sugar. It's sugar that's bad for you. Sugar and seed oils will yeah. fuck your shit up. Well, um, you brought it up in the chat, dude. You're on about type 3 diabetes. Like, and I, I was seen a video on that not too long ago, and it's mad, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Like, I think it's like insulin resistance in the brain that's causing the... Uh, what is it, dementia, is it? Why would Nikki invite me to a different fucking meeting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you try his blessing. Oh, look, I've got a message on him now. Invite me back to the... Co- Add me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Add me in. <laughs> Add me in. I'm your people. I can't get my fucking bar to go away. There you go. I I thought we'd get a good ten minutes in before I think he would join, so we should have waited for him. Invite fucking dog shampoo. Mm. People get to see live now just him fucking fucking about with his mic and saying oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear He's you. He's gonna do it now. Oh. Our boys. Yeah, me. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Oh, I, I am what? I'm coming to my fucking phone again. Yeah, of course it is, because it never comes through your headphones first time fucking ever. <laughs> I don't get it. It's been a year we've been doing it. <laughs> and we have the same bullshit rigmarole every time. You okay, Nicholas? No. No? I'm oh, carrying a barrel, barrel and Aladdin's following me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I showed the missus the milk for the first time not too long ago because she'd never seen it. I was like, how have you <laughs> not seen these, like... So That's this part of Welsh culture, that is. It is. I, I, like, you don't think about it, like, like until, like, fucking... Well, you just don't <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he's, he, gone. He, he, he just fucking disappeared. Oh. What were we on about? Oh, yeah. So, you know Procter & Gamble, the company oh, yeah. that just sells a bunch of sugar and seed oils? Yeah. They, they were the ones that got the media to be like, oh, tell them meets the problem. Hmm. So that happened. I know it turns out it's fucking seed oils and sugar. Yeah. Fucks your shit up. Well, yeah. um, I'm probably going to have to invite fucking Numpty Boy again. I don't know why I bothered hitting record before dealing with all this bullshit. It's all right, man. It's content. Oh, yeah. We can just see the pay- pay- Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, right. oh he's shaking, oh, shaking his head. Why is he he's so shot his cock. <laughs> Oh, he's frozen. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He's dropped his phone. <laughs> Phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal podcasting. And here we see the great Nicholas. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Now, now we can't enough. hear him either. I don't... Why doesn't he just... He makes it work every time, but why doesn't he just make it work and then remember how, what he did to make it work? Don't shake your head at me. Oh, and he's, he's gone. gone. Well, continue. And he... <laughs> Proctor, yes. <laughs> Fuck me. Invite dog shampoo. Is that what his name is up here? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hello. I'm not. Hello. Oh, hiya, Nick. Hello. Me, Nick. Oh, what's God. wrong, babe? Oh, it's fucking life now. Oh, yeah, he's in a good mood. <laughs> well, it looks like he's got a filter on his face, like a makeup yeah, like filter. A blush one, isn't it? I'm fucking hot. I'm flustered. That's what it is. <laughs> Billy with the wire zag. <laughs> Why are you all thun flustered, babe? Did we rush you? My heat does off. Oh. <laughs> nice uh, and toasty. And she's got paid. Got paid for a job, did it? With the fucking heated on. Uh, yeah. No. Oh my. Uh, I don't know. What's my fucking name, my tumble dryer's dead, so I've had to oh. turn the actual conservatory into a fucking tumble dryer. Excellent. Swinging paws around the leg. Yeah, look. Well, it's, it's a tumble dryer without the actual tumbling bit. Fuck okay. right. <laughs> He's going to jump in a later, that's a tumble. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a nice grow house in there with that temperature. Yeah, fuck okay. <laughs> Humidity. Get some dog on a go. <laughs> star dog. <laughs> I got some banging star dog, Matt. Butter cheese it was back in my day. Butter cheese. Butter uh, cheese. Uh, it was all AK back when I was like fucking TV. Right, like butter cheese AK. Uh, oh, it's the same thing, is it? No, no, no different, different. different strains, eh? Butter cheese uh-huh. AK, um, Afghan Kush, chocolate chunk, lemon, lemon haze. Butter <laughs> haze, it's sort of younger, yeah. Um, well, lemon haze was fucking dodgy as fuck, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, fucking, yeah. What dealers used to do is they just grow like just normal bunk shit yeah. and, and spray it with lemon yeah. sif. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Water down lemon sip. That's like fuck off. spice in it. Honest <laughs> to fucking God. You don't smoke it, you can fucking taste that about your throat. That's what you're the fucking, thing was lemon sip to try and make your lemons. Te- your teeth were white as fuck, or? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what was the other one I used to do? Fucking... I said that. It's like the most ridiculous thing you. ever. No, so it was lemon sip, watered down, spray it on the fucking on the buds. So it smelled lemony as well. It tasted fucking lemony, but you could feel it straight away in the back of your throat. Was it lemon sip or lemon jiff? Why did they change it from Jif? It was Jif, cut- but because I, I I remember the switch over from Sif to Jif. Excellent. It Jif. Oh, so it's just lemon juice then, is it? No, it's fucking kitchen game, isn't it? Lemon Jif's lemon juice, isn't it? No. No, Jif. Sif. 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 used to be called Jif. Oh, Jif. Oh, right, okay. But they changed the name of it for the fucking... I don't know, the Europeans couldn't pronounce fucking Jif. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sif. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because it meant, like, jizz in some places. I mean, Jif... <laughs> Let me jiff no. on your tits. <laughs> ah, sorry, yeah, the one. I, I, I've jiffed the inside of your thigh. I didn't make it in. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one that they used to do to try and, f- and trick me into thinking you were buying something good was uh, spray Coca-Cola on your bud to make it sticky. Oh, oh yeah. fucking hell. And uh, she'd be like, oh, this bud's buying it. It's super sticky. And it would just be fucking, People fucking Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. But we buy fucking weed from Fernell, and it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's when they discovered they can spray lemon Coca Cola on it. Yeah, that's fine. That taste sensation. Then uh, <laughs> I remember once buying um, a lump of dope, solid, like. Oh yeah. And um, I like saved up my pocket money, and a few of us had chipped in, so we could he was buy eight. It. He was eight. Just used to be able to buy a teenth, right? So teenth was a Fuck fucking fight. Back in the top ones, isn't it? So I saved up all my shillings. <laughs> he used to be able to buy a teenth. So I think a, a teenth is like one eighteenth of a gram or something fucking dull like Fuck that. You know. Like enough okay. for a spliff. <laughs> yeah. So it was a little rock, like enough for a spliff. And it was a five pound, it was a five pound deal it was. Fucking hell. Cheap just chucking up. Yeah. And I remember we all fucking saved that and chipped in and all that. And we bought, I think it was a quarter, which was a big thing back in them days, right? Like, oh, for the fucking, <laughs> for the quarter plus on it, we was the fucking, it was the dog the boy, ball. Like, like. Mm. And um, 
Was it a quarter it was? Uh, it might have been. But, um, yeah, we started burning it down to fucking make a joint. And I was like, the fuck's in the middle of this? Like, you always used to get, like, a bit of plastic bag or something in it to try and bind it together. Yeah. And um, it was a fucking, it was a, a boat in it. So they fucking <laughs> compressed it around the boat. So I didn't really have my fucking... My quarter or my half. You or had a, it was supposed to be. It was a fucking boat doing it down. I was tamping. You, you had a teenth and a ten mil, like. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it was, but oh, that guy. Oh man, I remember yeah, got, back. Oh sorry, bud. Got some banging cold thread in if you want some, like. <laughs> hey, this is Galvo. This is, is Galvo. Galvanized. Yeah, bastards. Get drug dealers. Who can trust them? Innit? Yeah. I remember smoking white window before I must have been like 14, 15. Oh. <laughs> Fucking. Oh. Oh, but I was in my mate's house and his mum had a calendar of Johnny Depp on the wall. Oh, but I, every time I looked at that calendar, I was like, boys, fucking Johnny's looking at me. But yeah. Is it white window, <laughs> it white window or white rhino? White rhino used to be a thing as well. I'd yeah, fucking. Yeah, my mother it was either white window or Johnny rhino. Depp. My, if my mother had a Johnny Depp calendar, I'd do it. <laughs> but oh, like. Huh? Oh, Stupid bitch, we win. <laughs> last week on the podcast, I fucking mm. mentioned that, uh, yeah, my mother was the only one to ever hit me around the face. I, I went over to her house on the weekend. I was like, I do you remember that? She went, Yeah, you fucking deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, You told me to fuck off. And it's like, Mom, you nearly fucking knocked me out. She's like, Yeah, I was trying to spin your head off. <laughs> <laughs> no remorse. Whoa! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it's oh, getting big, but. <laughs> He's oh. pressed the wrong fucking button. He's, he's creeping. <laughs> he pressed the wrong button. Oh, Jesus fucking... Christ. Look at that. Mysterious mm. entrance. Jesus Christ. Talk about fucking making an entrance. Fucking Bartras, man. What's the uh, latest, Bartras? What's up then? Yeah. Pretty much. Actually, it feels like I got fucking friends now. Fucking hell. Three people, <laughs> four people on a cast. Like, this is like one of the vintage episodes. I got a new girlfriend <laughs> and, and Pete's been sad. <laughs> Like oh, episode no. eight vibes, like <laughs> people are gonna start listening to this or they think, hang on a minute, we've already listened to this. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sure Pete was dead. Well, he has been on me. Yeah, just we can't have in, but he just spawns it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely puppeteering, like where did you where did you get then throw the best like where did you get sacked from man? Because uh last time I mentioned the name of the driving job. job. Yeah, yeah, he got sacked oh, from that one. Yeah, failed that one. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, fa- he's failing jobs like you're failing fucking... <laughs> exams, <laughs> like... I'm failing jobs like Nicky's body's failing him. Oh, <laughs> I... <laughs> that was a bald pip of a verbal fucking repost I've ever seen. Like. <laughs> I was ass. Boss, yeah, man. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's some incense, my guy. Ah, what's this going? What's that been? I don't know. Been all right. Yeah, it's about you been. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was in it when Endel. Was it? What? Oh yeah, I asked her out on the weekend. She's lovely. She is. She's good. You asked her out. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. Official, is it? We're, we 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 didn't have to drug his Didn't have to. I fucking I don't do drugs anymore, man. I'm a soldier <laughs> of Christ. <laughs> you get tea, isn't a drug, right? <laughs> saying saying you're a soldier of Christ with that with that. <laughs> that, 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 that was fucked. That's your head and those tattoos. That's important. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I'm the Archangel Michael, but I'm striking. Almost said the N word down. <laughs> I'm striking homies down left and right. Channeling Americans, then. I'm, yeah, I'm the Avenging Angel. <laughs> oh, Biblical or Batman? Oh, man. Oh, I've, I, I've exited my Batman fucking phase. Winter's oh, pretty yeah. much over now, so my Batman uh, my Batman in is over. You got pretty far into uh, was it the Frank Miller ones? Oh, I fucking yeah, read fucking loads of those nerd comics, but mm-hmm. I'll be back. They... got a charger. Oh yeah, Always. why is he just recording a podcast like, not on charge? It's insane. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> go then, Nicky. Go you fucking slow. You pretended you so for all then. Go. I was just in shock, but because he's <laughs> he's not like this. So it's just me and him. He's all fucking lovely, Davy. Yeah. <laughs> I said muted class. He, he, he won't figure out he's fucking muted for fucking ages now. Uh, I've unmuted myself, you can't. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, right, Dixie. Fuck you, we'll be back now. Shows uh, up fucking 10 minutes. I fucking... forgot to mute himself as well. <laughs> Abs- absolute chaotic episode this is, man. Fuck all sorts of fucking... It's like musical chairs, but don't worry about it. It's all yeah. with the flow. Oh, I got, I got a fucking banging topic for later. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, what should I go with for now? 
for now. I don't know. Is anyone going to so, talk about? Oh, go on, then. Yeah. You know, we were on about um, maybe doing a side thing with conspiracy theories and that. Yeah. Oh, I, I got lost the other night in like a bit of a YouTube slash reels bloody deep dive. Um, right. You know, have you, you've both heard of the Mandela effect, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't remember where I heard it. If I read it, it was a video. Like I said, it was fucking way down the hall. Um, I, love I think, this, I think some, someone said... See patterns. <laughs> did you, did, That's what seen... that was on about when. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the Fruit of the Loom one? The Fruit oh, of the, the Loom? That there isn't yeah. a cornucopia on the logo. Yeah, did you see the woman who found the Fruit of the Loom top with a cornucopia on it, though? Yeah. Fuck and me, I... man. Unemployed and... life is fucking mad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're doing this deep dive. And I can't remember, like I said, if it was a video I read it. Someone was saying they reckon it's a massive psyop to see oh, yeah. what they can get away with with changing history and how people, what people oh. will believe. Yeah. By, I, I, by testing it out, by changing small things first and slowly I, I, building over time. But, but everything all... we see in a day to day basis is propaganda, full stop. All marketing is, is propaganda. We're going to shut yeah, their faces 24 7. So that's, that's what I mean. If, that's if, literally if, what they're doing. If, if, if that turned out to be the case, I don't, like, yeah, like how much of you being fed is just one try and say up. My schizo yeah. thinking Fuck does expand when I'm, not, <laughs> the when, I'm, when I'm not getting pussy, my schizo thinking does expand. <laughs> it was, uh, but now that I, I, I've come inside the warm wet, I'm like, everything is okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's probably the, that's, that's probably the biggest it. that's the biggest sigh out, man. Is women? <laughs> it blitz blue balls. <laughs> yeah, man. That's why pornography. Yeah. That's why they push out pornography to drain you of cum and you're mm-hmm. thinking. Keep you complacent. But say what you want. It is the most diverse industry. <laughs> Everybody gets love. <laughs> There's Even no the category you won't find like <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nicky said he was going to get a phone charger, and the cunt came back with a beer. <laughs> Well, oh yeah, fuck. That's a nickel charger. Ah, uh, no, I insane. did get my charger. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say the age is kicking in, then walk into a room. What the fuck was I in here for? What am I doing here? What's a podcast? Ah, <laughs> uh, so my mother gave me a coke or some information. We were driving. It was me, my brother, his missus, and my new missus. She was just like, oh, "I heard something awful the other day." I was like, "Crack on." Um, this oh, yeah. woman, oh yeah, this woman. Uh, she, it's been a while since we've done a wild. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I love words. The new girl I'm seeing just looked at me once and went, "Oh yeah." I was like, "Why are you doing that?" She's like, "Cause you do it all the fucking time." <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Um, it's called stimming, my girl. Yeah, um, my this one. Ah, you've got another disabled on there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, she's like that. Ah, spot to do anything for a blue badge, isn't he? <laughs> I just want to park where I want. Guy, yeah. Your accent. Why, what? Why are you seeing that? Oh, fuck! I took a blue Peter badge. <laughs> I never have to climb a flight of stairs again in my life. <laughs> yeah. I never have to queue in Disneyland. <laughs> Get bungled so, on the council. <laughs> <laughs> council bungalow, like. The um, outside. Fucking. So my mother goes right. I used to work with this woman, yeah, and she wasn't very attractive. I'm like, okay, Ka. Um, And she was really on her ass, you know, she was really struggling. Um, so I gave her your bunk beds from when you were kids because they had fuck all in their house, two kids, and a bunch of your old, old toys and everything. And I'm like, ask where my fucking Crash Bandicoot figure went. Um, but then this other guy in work started seeing her, going into a relationship with her. Um, and she was just like, could never understand what he saw in her because he was like really attractive, but I you know, kept going, kept going. And then she was like, and then he got arrested for fucking nonsense. <gasps> yeah, it was either that or she was going to kill her. Like he was going to kill yeah. her. He was one of the two. So apparently he was a vicious nonsense. He got caught nonsense a bunch. Um, and that's the reason he got with a woman with two kids so she could he could fucking get his grippers on him. And she just goes, Fucking good chances are the two kids got molested in your childhood bunk bed. <laughs> That's fucking awful. Do you hear it in your mother's mouth as well? Oh, oh no. So it was childhood such, ruin. 
It was such such a bizarre sentence to you that I just start fucking laughing. <laughs> I'm there fucking howling. My mother's like, that's not fucking funny. My new girlfriend is there chuckling as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. It's just like, what the fuck? So I, I was walking back from jujitsu the other day and I was like, fucking my action man stickers saw some kids get non slay <laughs> Elliot sat, the, things like. Elliot sat in the back of the car like a oh, white egg going, you know the first. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, it's the haunted bunk bed. It was the ghost, Elliot. It was the ghost. <laughs> the haunted I bunk bed. I, remember, I was pretending to transform from a mogwai to a gremlin in those beds. <laughs> and some kids had their fucking... <laughs> they were the strain, like... Yeah, man. Had their childhood taken away from them. <laughs> that's fucking wrong isn't it? that's fucked isn't it but yeah. this guy psyop there is so much that she didn't believe it even he went to prison and she didn't believe it that's fucking oh, man, that's well convincing man. stitch like yeah pff, don't know man Lee Luan stitch like some people are just fucking stupid don't they <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would even not believe that he'd been arrested for it as well like a multiple yeah days. yeah no, here's but... all the evidence he was caught yeah. no, i still don't believe it oh, but, um, uh, some people no, get pussy didn't. blind but some people get cock blind mm. oh, yeah, that's true that's true yeah so that, that, that's what i wanted to bring to the cast i think that's fact that my childhood bunk beds got defiled <laughs> Yeah. I used to have nightmares in those bunk beds, and then some kids had a living nightmare. Fuck me. It's like the worst thing that can happen to a child. Could we be losing speaking your bunk about beds? This? Could we be speaking about this? Well, I, I, Spats just laughed so I hard. Don't know, I don't know what they You can get started that's what. for Christmas instead of a PlayStation's pretty bad, like. Oh. Hmm. I can oh, have, see, imagine the is, disrespect. <laughs> I come upstairs, and it's like. Uh, where, where are my bunk beds? It's like, oh, we gave it to the Fritzels, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't work on a basement. It's going along well, apparently. <laughs> uh, I, I heard his daughter's having a, having, a, having a kid, so they need bunk beds now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should stop talking about them. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with this. This is wow. awful. It's good to be back. <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, I bar, went out right? Saturday night. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I do. Have a day. And uh, it was in the tavern, and um, this fucking boy, he had a pink um, Stone Island coat on. A pink Stone Island coat? Yeah, it comes up to me and says, I know who, don't I? I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> he said, yeah, you know. Not an object, you don't. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> and he said, yeah, you really don't. And he goes, uh, yeah, you went to boys' comp, and no, I didn't. <laughs> he said, oh, I didn't know. I said, what? Oh, ah, you gave me a bunk bed. Yo, you you looked like somewhere I know. So I went off to the bar, come back at the back. And he was, uh, he said something to me and he went, Don't me. just gone to prison for nonsense. Uh, do a I need I to? Know, okay. A boy I know and used to like drink with when I lived in Irving and that. And um, I was like, Yeah. Oh, I grew up in a bunk bed. Oh, he was like, Oh, I'm his brother. And I was like, Oh, is it? Yeah, and it was like, I was with Dan, and Dan went, looked at me like, ah, like he's you heard me say the thing about pasty before, like, and like, ah, yeah, he's just gone to prison for being a fucking pedo, and he, and he was like, uh, yeah. I was like, why, oh, yeah. I was like, why would you walk? Yeah, like, why would you walk around Aberdeen fucking town telling people, people. Like, your brother, you know, he's a yeah. brother of a pedophile? Like. I like how Nicky goes like, oh, I, I don't want to fucking talk about this. Let's change the subject. This is pedophile. <laughs> Too close to one for him, that's why I see. <laughs> I miss my bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have bunk beds as a kid? Yeah, who fucking didn't? Did you get fucking raped in a bunk bed? <laughs> no, by my father. Oh, <laughs> 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 no. Was it a bunk bed? No. Uh. What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't. No, I they'd, been, they'd, they'd been split in half at this. That's not. You're not helping this. No, no, no. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> no, my father fucking fe- nearly fell out of the bedroom window. I thought it had something to do with the bunk beds, but it wasn't. It was because he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they fell out of my bunk bed. Oh yeah, everyone's fallen out of the bunk bed, isn't he? Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't proper. It was just like a raised one. Just so I could, there was no bed, no bottom, just so I could have like 
like a um, desk, the desk yeah to put my playstation on his head yeah uh, my dad my dad built it like a cap he built the steps he didn't build them at an angle he built them just flat well like a ladder oh, yeah oh, I, I tried steps to get out but to, flat <laughs> tried to get out of it one morning i fell asleep with my socks on just hit the top step boom, yeah, head like first smash into the bedroom floor uh, rough the um one year when we was in Bloodstock, my missus took the kids away to somewhere like Devon Way. That was the last year, was Last year before. And they had bunk beds there. I think it was the year before. They had bunk beds there. Mason was adamant he went to sleep on a top bunk and she was like, you're going to fall out, you're going to fall out. And then, fuck yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the night, she heard, boom, boom. <laughs> ah, I'm a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, I broke both my feet when I was a kid. You really? I, oh, at yeah, the same yeah, time? Yeah. yeah, yeah, at the same time. Uh-huh. No, what did you jump off? No, no, I have no idea how I did it. I just remember fucking waking up and just going, how my feet fucking hurt. <laughs> um, told, told my dad and he was like, that's growing pain. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't believe that my pain was real. A fucking old man my father was. Yeah. He's like, I had growing pains, but it was like two weeks later. And I'm just there walking on my heels down the stairs. I'm like, fuck That's autism, man, is but... <laughs> Autists do walk funny, you know. It's either heels or tippy toes, oh, isn't it? Yeah. What type, what frequency autism Autist. do you have? I'm fucking toes, but I am. I got yeah. no balance either. I just bop about. Oh, but I can't. I've seen you do it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, she do doing your toes thing. Like, yeah, but... <laughs> ah. You look like you're dancing. There's like a little jive going on yeah, in your head. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, on the tippy yeah. On the tippy toes. I was walking down the stairs and he's like, why are you walking? Like, ah, I was like, because my feet do. <laughs> my mother gave in and took me to the hospital. They were like, broken both your feet. I'm like, oh yeah, feels like. <laughs> I sleep I'd... hard as fuck. Turns out your dad tried to clip it or something like. Uh, <laughs> oh. but, dad and, and bought a new bat and tested it on my feet when you sleep in. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, in the bunk fucking... bed. My mother you know and I dad's like for my... weapons. Apparently, I pissed my dad off so much one one night that my mother had to stop him from going up to my room with a baseball bat while I was asleep. I <laughs> can't believe that. Cow- <laughs> fucking coward. <laughs> Get away while I'm sleeping. Uh, fucking bitch. The trick is the fucking soap in the pillowcase. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave a bruise. Is that why they do it? I think. I don't think that's true. Anyway, I had two casts on my feet. I was like, this can't get any worse. I was going down the fucking ladder to my bunk beds. Fucking casts are really slippery. <laughs> and that's how I broke my ass. <laughs> oh, both my feet slipped into the rungs of the ladder. <gasps> and I just fell backwards. And I was like, oh, right. ah. Just hang upside down. <laughs> oh, um, absolute uh, dra- Dracula mode. I was <laughs> <laughs> my, um, my uncle had an accident. Um, he was a lorry driver. Uh, and he was um, driving tippers and he got the ladder on the side of him. So he climb up and you could pull the curtain back for obviously before yeah, you tip. Uh, and he's a big guy. He was like, you know, in his like mid 20s stone climbing up this ladder and he'd slipped mm. and his leg had gone in the run and he fucking fell backwards and shattered his fucking, his whole leg, his fucking <laughs> shin and everything. And he was stuck upside down for about half a way and he had fucking, what's it called, toxic fucking thing and all that. Oh, he's upside like, down stuck for so long. Ah, it's it's like, it's like, it's like necrotic blood or something, isn't it? Yeah, like all the fucking, all the blood from your organs and all that stuff's fucking leaking the wrong way it's supposed to go, isn't it? Yeah, and, apparently, uh, I, I learned this the other day about there was a guy that um got stuck, was caving and he got stuck upside down. It's, it, it's called like Silly Putt Cave or something. <laughs> and it's it's basically, him. he climbed into a space. That was just the same size of his body. And he realized he made a wrong turn, so it was a dead end. And he couldn't reverse out. Um, and people went in to try and rescue him. And uh, they realized they just couldn't get him out. Um, so they just tried to make him as comfortable as he could while he died in there. They, oh, fuck they, they took a fucking mobile phone down to him so he could say goodbye to his wife and kids. Can you imagine you get a phone call off your significant other? I'm not coming home. Why? Crawls into an all and I can't get out. Why are you crawling that fucking awful? Get out! Oh, no, my kids! Ah, intrusive thought, like what? Just play your mouth and chains down in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stealing so small. So... Fucking! I fucking! I just come out and dying in silly Billy Cave. Or... <laughs> you no, know, right? So oh, I see oh. videos of these people that go caving and all that shit, mm. like squashing through these little gaps and that. 
Do you know the more. first thing that comes to my head is, like when I Go see on. her, is if you get stuck, there should be some fucking law, right? Where you're just not allowed to tell anyone. Like, tough. Oh. You fucking, yeah, like, tough. <laughs> oh, tough fucking you like, you yeah. wanted to do this fucking stupid thing, so you're just tough. Yeah. Fucking stay Yeah, there. public order act. Fuck around and find, find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it is, isn't it? It's fuck about. That one is a bad. Fucking. It's like these people are like, they go to the fucking underwater caves and stuff. And oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, they drown. No shit. It's fucking <laughs> pitch black. Saying that, it, I, I, I got have some sympathy because I want to do the, um if I ever got a chance, with the um, shark cage. You be yeah, last uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say something. I was trying not to. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say he's going to go cave in. I was going to get stuck in the open anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You'd get stuck in the Fiat 500 drive anyway. <laughs> I say that, man. But I've, seen him fucking... I've, seen, I've seen him squash himself into a smart car, man. Yeah. Oh, but Adam would have tested his room in like it. My mother used to like, like, come outside and like bite the laugh at us when he used to pick us up. <laughs> to show people in the house, you make outside to see a snow. Oh. What he's doing in his car. Do you want to know how much room is in his smart car? That's the world's only stupid car, like. Do you want to know how much room is in his smart car? I think it fit me and Fuzz in it. Fucking hell. Looks like a fucking clown car. Yeah, but can it pull off? Can it pull off, though? Like, you can fit in there. Those are those. Can it actually move? That would help. I bet you can't go Penry Hill, though. Oh, fucking hell. Never can't take him home. Shut up. Fucking use all your petrol to an Albert. Boy. That's too fucking. Ooh. Smart cars must have the world's strongest engines, man. The strongest frames are titanium. Or chassis, I should say. Chassis. Anyway, Chassis. fucking all about dining cage. Dylan, you'd like fucking have you have you read the fucking Darwin Awards? I've not read it, but I've seen YouTube clips of it. But they the actual well, they, they they actually give him more a ranking. I think it was oh. hundred and one <laughs> deaths, the most stupid deaths. And but some of them are insane. Like one of one of the guys was like a petrol tank driver and decided it'd be a good idea while it was open, while he was on top. Oh fuck. Fag and beer started dancing around there, dropped his fag inside the pedal tanker, blew himself up. That's class. I'd like yeah. to die in an explosion. Yeah, man. It'd be quick, wouldn't it? And you wouldn't have to spread the last spread. It's an event. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's an event. Yeah, man. It's a way to go out, like, it's a bang. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> yeah, he died in an explosion. Every fuck would be talking about it. Oh, fuck it. Yes. Yeah. Spat fucking died. Oh, go blow it up. What? Like, blown up. Look, yeah, and everyone's like, what, What's in the coffin? How much of him did they get in there? Is there anything in there? Is it just his teeth? <laughs> what was he trying so to do? Mysteries. Trying to build a flex capacitor? Yeah, just, just, that's all that's left is his shoes. Like, yeah. just his shoes just, 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 just smoking, like, <laughs> yeah, vaporized. <laughs> There's just a shadow of me on a wall somewhere. And that's it. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Oh, Daffy Duck style. Like, yeah. When I lived in Mount in Victoria Street, there was, there was a block I lived opposite us. I don't know if I said. Is it, it the midget before. calling the midget? No, I used a couple of doors down here. That's calling <laughs> the The dwarf with a big fucking thing hanging up his nose. I fucking would walk. He got into an argument. So he used to fucking go into the pubs and just steal people's pints. He was a horrible little nasty dwarf. Yeah, he wasn't he was one of the fun ones. ones. He was, oh, he was like ones. the leprechaun, the horror film, the oh, leprechaun. Oh, like the leprechaun. Ah, the leprechaun. <laughs> the leprechaun. <laughs> he, went into the, he went into the con. In Kaiba, and he started doing his leprechaun. Thing, took took people's pints. <laughs> the leprechaun. <laughs> Very good. Hey, you want about the Kaiba con? Nah, the leprechaun. Very good. <laughs> but no, they just picked him up. And you know those trophy cases with the sliding glass fronts. <laughs> just yeah. put him in there and close there. Ah, uh, of um... There was this woman called Julie Short Arms, and they did the same thing to her. She used to be a right shit at the bar. She went to the like Ross Kemp on gang. Julie Short, Short Arms. arms. <laughs> yeah, but like they used to just like put her on top of stuff, and because her arms are so short, she couldn't really like shimmy herself down. So they just used to keep it up. <laughs> My dad walked into the pub and he saw saw the dwarf in the, in the fucking trophy cabinet, and he was like, "How long has he been in there?" And he went, "Where's the pot of gold?" About an hour, and he just went, "That's fucked." That is. <laughs> <laughs> My dad seen um, the other pub you had a uh, grandfather oh, walking down. Oh yeah. My dad seen somebody. I don't know if I, I don't know if it was my dad that did it, but somebody did it. He was chopping someone in there, and they picked him up and hung him on the fucking coat hanger by the scruff of his shirt, <laughs> left him dangling there like. <laughs> yeah. Is um. Yeah. Because he got a little drunk. Huh. <laughs> he was a little drunk. 
My dad's um, got a thing for midgets. He's like, fucking hate them. Like, oh, but, all right. <laughs> oh, no, like, whenever he gets drunk, he I goes, like, that. Fuck one. Like, fucking, when he was... What did he say? Pl- stand on a stool and say to my face? No, he got it in his head. He got shit face, yeah. And it was just this... It was just dwarf in the pub. And he was like, he's stolen my wallet. <laughs> and my mom was like, he just walked in. You haven't had your wallet for two hours. How the fuck has he stolen any wallet? He's like, nah, he's fucking at it. And apparently, he just started arguing. He's like, where's my wallet? And my mom was like... What are you doing? You're sure. You're take, uh, you're like, why are you arguing with a dwarf for? <laughs> Turns out he left his wallet in the house. <laughs> what were you saying about Victoria Street, Nick? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. You're going on about like blowing up or blowing yourself up. The guy who lived opposite us um, went into Mount Petrol Station, put a gallon of petrol and a pack of 10 fags, sat up the mountain, poured the petrol over his head, and lit the fag in his car. Interesting. Powerful. Uh, we're waiting to go Fucking on that. Free pack. Petrol Monk's style, like. Free Palestine. That's how my fucking great uncle killed himself. Well, free, free Palestine. Palestine. Well, free Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. No, he fucking self-immolated. He set himself on fire in a car. Did he? Shit. Yeah. That's one of the sure most painful uncle. weeks today. Was it your uncle? Uh, yeah. My great uncle, that was. It's well, weird, though. He, he wasn't great. He was more well done at the end. Ooh, <laughs> nice. I don't know, I didn't fucking kill him. I can make jokes. That's my trauma. That's my bad. Yeah, I bet if you said, yeah, mother and father, but they didn't know who it was. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Same guy. M- might have been. I don't know. We weren't, like, my grandfather absolutely loved him. And then when that happened, he just broke his heart. So he never really spoke about it again. Mm-hmm. He, I wouldn't say he would have been a, a great uncle because I would say he's like. He'd be about he's 18 like our parents. Yeah, he'd, he's like our parents' no. age. You now we would be like. Fuck that he did it. Like, yeah. And it's basically got to be a man to, to sit through all that and know. It's not it's, instant, is it? It's, no, it's, that's because that's it's, fucking screaming and agony for ages. That's white dog screaming there. Yeah. It's, the mo- it's the most painful way to die. You know? Yeah. Uh, you got to be hated funny. to do that, you know what I mean? Like, you got to hate yourself, bud. Yeah. you got to think right. that you deserve to be punished for something. You must yeah. have done yeah. something bad. Not, like, right. defile my bunk bed. <laughs> oh. Give yourself the ghost rider, like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you almost allowed him. Oh, yeah, uh, I fuck me, his Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was last so time funny. I. That was the last time I breathed fire. That was was I spent half an hour explaining why you can't use petrol to do this because the flash point's too high. And then he goes, "Oh, what have you got in the house?" And I was like, "Petrol." <laughs> that was one was of like, the I'm... first things I saw you do when I first actually um, started bothering with you. Oh, yeah. well, you were up your house. And you were like, oh, the last thing that my Danny told me not to do is yeah. fucking buy a breathe. And then you were like, it was it your first match? Yeah. Was that, was, that was the night with that, the, what the mother came in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll tell our story in a minute. And he just started, he's like, oh, I'm going to breathe fire. I'm going to swallow a sausage hole. He swallowed <laughs> a hole. You could see it in his throat. It couldn't go down. So he caught it back up. Yeah. Oh, oh, you cheeky prick. Get I'm back sure down there. I'm sure we're going to that You cheeky prick, come back. Oh, come I here, have to find that on my Snapchat. Oh, but I was like, what the fuck is this guy? You know, why am I up his house? I used to be fun, (laughs) man. I used to be really fun. (laughs) No, it's just sensible. Oh, Uh, I know. I've been very sensible. The times I've had with it in a short period for when Mm. he did it was fucking insane. (laughs) The ice cube one is still my (laughs) favourite. I was oh, telling Lauren tell- about that the other day. <laughs> <laughs> when the poo came out of his ass, it looked like a stick because it was so short and thin a stream. I was like, did you get a twig? Ah, you know what that shit was? Oh, that shit was one of them ones you do when you thought you farted. That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was a he was slight like, anal leakage. Like. He was destined to be a skid mark. Like. Yeah, so to, we was in Bloodstock, yeah, Dylan, for the context of people that doesn't know who, who wasn't there, Dylan... <laughs> Out of nowhere. It was boiling hot and I bought two bags of ice to keep my feet and my drinks in to try and keep me cool, right? So as soon as Dylan seen his ice, he was like, ah, my father reckons, see, that it is impossible to fit an ice cube in your ass because it's so cold, your arsehole's just going to shut up and it's not going to let it in. And goes into the science of why he thinks you can't fit the fucking ice cube up your ass. So he bends over, flips his fucking kilt up and goes, I'm going to prove my father wrong, <laughs> right? And then he grabs an ice cube, 
He tries to stick up his ass for ages, but obviously he like, keeps dropping it and his asshole was having none of it. And then all of a sudden his asshole was like, I've had enough of this fucking cold ice cube, I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> so the fucking he sticks a fucking ice cube up his ass. <laughs> so we're all at it, he's like laughing. And he's like, Yeah, fuck you, Dad. I told you you were wrong. And then he bends over and tries to fire the ice cube <laughs> out of his ass. <laughs> and done. <laughs> So we see his ass all like fuck it up before it spits it out. And as the ice cube comes out, his little worm of shit. His little worm of shit follows it and drops on the floor. So we all start laughing and Dylan pulls his kilt back. I say, Why are you all laughing at? And then stood in it and I watched it all like go between his toes. Aww. And then he sits on the floor for ages in like pure disbelief and disgust. He's like, "What have I just done?" <laughs> All these people. <laughs> yeah, everybody was part of that. It was under that massive tree. Yeah, yeah but everyone the across the street shit, just like... would make a circle around us. And yeah, stay the fuck away from the water. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, you picked the ice cream up as well and put it in your mouth after. Sounds like that then. Yeah. Sounds like the old. Most of the times you shit in public when you fucking defiled frog chair. That was an accident. (laughs) Frog frog chair was an accident. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that. I've shat more times in public than I have in my life. (laughs) I don't do that. that I get just blood stock. I get in trouble for that now. (laughs) Frog chair. One of the most um... disgusting things I've seen you do is when you fucking. I was taking him home after camping. And we was just all like hanging. And he was like, Thank you so much for taking me all, man. I was like, it's all right. And just look at me and you go, I just empty your nose <laughs> all over yourself. It was all in your moustache and all down your lip. And I was like, that's disgusting. I put about eight miles, man. The old lens of the A470. I've never looked at you. He was just sat still, covered in fucking snot. <laughs> and then you were like, I should really wipe this off, shouldn't I? I was like, yes, please. <laughs> and you were like, have we got anything? I was like, no, I fucking haven't. You're like, oh. <laughs> it's like stayed there covered in fucking snot. <laughs> I can't you wait for the most disgusting creatures I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honest to God, you fucking vile. Do you know what? <laughs> talking about it, Adam, I think I am going to be silly at download. Yeah? I think I need to be silly. What does being silly entail? I may join you on the silly. Ooh. <laughs> that's my <opinion. laughs> he's already covered himself in snot like, and stuck oh. in his cube up his ass what else can you think of I don't know Adam spewed on me yeah. uh, that yeah, was someone... fucking funny I, I spewed on you and I've kissed you Willie so I've done a bit of all <laughs> <laughs> it's good kissing... with the bad oh Kiss, sorry kissing the, willy. <laughs> kissing the willy was funny as fuck man. I was hey, sat on a camping so... chair sat on a camping chair and then Adam was sat in front of me and I just lifted my kilt up and I went oh I know Turn around, you know. <laughs> when your talk was next to my face, and I was like, "You're gonna keep doing this." The only way to, I'm just gonna double down or deal with it. So I doubled back down. I've never done it again. Mm, fucking fucking trip, triple down, like oh god. But all the balls, boys, are gay. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's just get silly at fucking download. Is it? Let's just have fun. Bring my boy back, is it? Oh, but ah, festival season, boys. Soon we'll just hold be... auditions for my boy back. Oh, but uh, I'd love boy. to join you in download. Do it. Get a Send job. Station. And yeah, if I get a job, I don't know. We're not like you'll have to walk at our pace, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No fainting. Fucking hell. No fainting. Oh, did I think last time? <laughs> Bad blood dog. No, I didn't. Oh, he yeah, he's, been, he's, he's been training in his hyperbolic time chamber just to stay <laughs> yeah. conscious. Just be standing tense in every three seconds. That's what he's been doing. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's training, tense he's every day in my life, second in the bed. He's, like... <laughs> he's been oh, running he... up and down pen resale, but he's, he's been training. Yeah, he's had his backpack on. He's walked up and down the stairs four times. He's been pushing that. <laughs> he's been pushing that smart car. So by the time it comes to pushing his troll, you never then hit the blood stock. You're gonna be prepared. <laughs> oh, boy, he's weighs man. a bit the same as a tent and a couple of crates. You know what? You know what? My train to do it. I laugh. Yeah, do it. yeah. Do some exercise, Pete. It's really good for you. Seeing as you've got all the time in the world every day. Yeah, yeah. as well, but and and stuff has sorted out and calmed down now. So I got time to good do it. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Well, I so say you got three months for fucking download. You could easily lose three stone in three months. Stone a month is doable. Yeah, 
It is. Us. I don't know. That guy. Again. Um, Looking by XL Dogs, then. Yeah, boy. I'll give I'll give you all my old shirts covered in snot and poo and ice. Oh, fucking yes. I can grow my own fucking Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh, it was no. like. Remember when I had that fucking um, hot tub? Yeah. yeah. I, I just decided to stop cleaning it. And I just let, let it go over winter. And I moved out of the house. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to have a cleaner. The, all of my DNA in there. I just opened the lid and there was like a second green Dylan growing. <laughs> I was like, like I made an eggs while I was a kid. Like Voldemort <laughs> at the end of Harry yeah. Potter. Just there, like, <laughs> yeah. um, I had to kill fucking Moss Dylan or he'd have me. Moss it can Dylan. be only one. Fucking stank Moss Dylan, dude. Stank Dylan. <laughs> I'm currently, where is it? 24, 26 hours into a fast. Oh, yeah, how's that been going? You said you'd be feeling fucking, good, don't know. Fucking awesome, man. It's because I ate like a fucking fat piggy last week because I had a cold. Um, you know when you just... Fasting? Don't... Hmm? How long have you been fasting? Uh, Not like 20... today, but like... Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I've been doing like 16-8 fasts since before Christmas. Mm. It's good. It's fucking good for the mental health. Um, Good for energy levels. Like... <laughs> I was, I was pigging on carbs last week because I felt fucking ill. You know, it, it's kind of a self-destructive thing that when you feel ill, you eat like shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that in turn makes you feel like shit. So it's I'm just, doing this yeah, thing. Yeah, it's supposed to is it feed a cold starve of flu? I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Is it the same mm-hmm. goes? But it just, yeah. anyway, I, I pigged out last week. So I, I think a nice 36-hour fast will fuck it. Looking bored enough there, Nick? Fuck me, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, good for you Nicky phoned me <laughs> earlier funny. and I was like hiya bud you alright like yeah I'm like are you phoning he's like well oh, do I need an excuse to phone one of my fucking best friends do I how you strong is it <laughs> I was like oh how's your day been and he goes fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> like, okay do you want to talk about it well, do I, go on now bit... yeah go on um it was a shit week, but to be honest, so I had outside work, but so the weather hadn't been the best. Mm-hmm. Fucking made 260 pounds last week. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought today, now this week would be better. Fucking rendered this little pine end last night, finished doing it last night. Went down this morning. That's what I say when I'm about to jiff on a girl's face. What are you doing? About <laughs> to render this pine end. You know? <laughs> I'm over the bro with the mountain and I can see the house. I like, oh, that pine end looks fucking banging from here. Well, there's a van up, starts getting stuff out of the van, goes to set my scaffold up, looks up like I went, why the fuck is half of it on the roof? <laughs> it fucking rained in the night and washed half of it off. Oh. <laughs> so I was just there scraping it all up. Everyone who lives there, like, it's two houses joined together. Mm. You know, like, the, the, yeah, like, Sean's friend and her husband and her parents all live in this one house. It's divided into two, like, farmhouse. And I was just like, there'd be fucking no dissension there, or like, right by a bed. Didn't you didn't know, just you to go onto the floor in the middle of the night, and they're like, no, I didn't even notice. Hmm. So I had to scrape it all up, start again. Thought, right, this is good. Went to go to like the finishing fucking bit to it, and it all started fucking splitting and falling off again. And I was just like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> I left Nicky the pages, did. went to try to finish it again. In the end, I just said to the block, I was like, I'll come back and fucking have another go on a different day. <laughs> and you think I can't fucking keep doing this one? It's costing me like 20 quid a day to get down there. Mm. So even though I like took home 260 quid last week, I'd spent 80 quid of that on fucking diesel. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, fuck this. And then I don't know, just, just jumped in the van and it started raining. I was like, I hope it all washes off. I hope the fucking house blows down. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck this. Fuck my job. It's like, I'm just going to fucking, I don't know, sign on, I think. Claim pit boss yeah. That's what he said to me on the phone. I'm like, he's like, oh, I'm done. I'm like, oh, with that job. He's like, nah, I work in general. I'm going to sell cocaine <laughs> and sign on for pit. <laughs> hey, fucking better job security and fucking more money. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Never one for business in the valley as well. It's tax free. We're yeah. on ours. Fucking why not? Eh? Oh, you're gonna talk yourself into drug dealing, though. You, 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 <laughs> you gotta be on call, Nick. On call. Yeah, that's he loves driving around. 
in a van labelled with like his name and that. What are you doing out this time? Like, oh, emergency call out. It's rendering. <laughs> Someone's render's blown off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's I been rendered like... fucking useless. <laughs> yeah. I do a bit of plumbing. Fuck it. I think I'd do alright in jail if I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> do it in park, any? You know, snares apparently. Might have upgraded by now. Thing is, I, I, if I go to jail, he's generally I'd considering pro- it. I, I'd, I'd probably know people in jail. Like I, ah, you passed me. We can visit. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen him since school. Like, uh, I'd have I to smuggle a in a now. mobile phone so he's podcast Steve, every week. Back yeah. Now. Yeah. I'll do a Pablo Escobar, but I'm like, I grant myself in as long as I can still podcast every week. <laughs> Tales from Park, we'll have to call it. <laughs> Could you imagine how many <laughs> we'd actually get much more listeners? Yeah. yeah no, Can you imagine uh, if one of us went to jail and Jen, we wrote a letter and every month everybody would be like, oh, we're going to read on the cast. <laughs> yeah. Start a little GoFundMe for when I come out. Like, <laughs> hmm. uh, We managed 150 quid. That's a bloodstock ticket. Yeah, fuck right. Yeah. Uh, Nick, why are you wearing an eye patch? I was shivved. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, they had my bad eye. <laughs> yeah, they had my bad eye. Uh, Nick's, yeah, Nick's not on this week. He's in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> Causing a prison riot. Through gravy of someone. Through gravy? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> you don't even... <laughs> <laughs> I know. You don't give me a fucking... You don't have a fucking jar of gravy when you're in prison. You're that kind. I make oh, it fucking bovril in a toilet, don't I? Yeah, fuck, I make portions. <laughs> bovril. <laughs> oh, it's fucking kettle and sugar, isn't it? Yeah, man. Sticks, you don't know. Sticks, yeah. Mm. Fuck, I. If I went to jail for a long, if I went to jail, if I had to go to jail and I'd go for a long time, I'd be the first thing I did as soon as I got on the wing. No, it's just, careful, just, someone. Just, just a random person set the tone in it. Oh, I'm bad <laughs> doing that though. <laughs> fucking bath. Well, yeah, but if you're in for like fucking 30 years, you've got enough time to get over it now. Yeah, but what if they tidy, you know? They're not that tidy. They're not that tidy. To be fair. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't they done something time. naughty, like. Yeah, just seeking vengeance from the inside, like. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do a Bronson, but I just fucking start a mass riot and cause like. Batty yourself up, like. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck guy. With gravy. <laughs> Watch this ice cube disappear. No? Spat. <laughs> uh, Spat smuggled me in them little fucking Oxo pot things and just yeah. add water. Fucking pour by the gravy on myself. Come on in. Let's fucking have it. <laughs> Will's angry as fucking roast about. potato, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Baby dripping off my parsnip like. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Parsnip and sprouts on show. <laughs> Fuck I'll be glazed, but it's fine doing it. <laughs> I think so. I'd either do something like that or i go completely opposite and just be like... Someone's bitch. Yeah, I want to turn my life from start like running prison courses and like teaching fucking the prison mongs out the drawer. Teaching them like... like yeah. I'm not going to teach them to read, do you? That's <laughs> uh, let me teach you how to fucking render off a wall with it all falling off. Yeah. So I can give them plastering courses in prison. Oh. Yeah, it's just you getting fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Blasted boys. Yeah, just getting plastered. Yeah. I take that course, to be fair, so it's fun. I asked what download's going to be, but... Yeah, it's a course in plaster. <laughs> yeah. It's a course in getting plaster. Yeah. My old man said it before, he's talking to his friend, he's like, oh, what are you doing now, man? Start plastering. My man's like, fuck this, you stay in the country, you better get him plastered. How <laughs> much is that? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'm just managing expectations. Me. Oh, my old man. <laughs> Hardest man in the world to please, but Hardest yeah. man in the world to please. Any Scott old fingers in the ass to make him come. Scott has <laughs> Scott, I've seen it first hand. Like, fucking, we done his kitchen for him and like ripped it back to a bare shell and made this like beautiful kitchen for him. And at the end of it, he just stood there and he's like, mm. just nodding <laughs> and grinning. Like, and, like, do you like it? Ah, it's all right, didn't it? Like, what do you mean it's all right, didn't it? Like, it's fucking standing there. There's a showroom fucking kitchen. Like, yeah. Tell me you're proud of me. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's all right. He's like, ah, oh, dad, you can't tell me you like it and you're proud of me, man. They're like, I'm not going to tell anyone. And he's like, oh, it's all right, don't <laughs> you? Fuck you, man. I told him I was um, waiting to be tested for the uh, ADHD. And uh, he just looked at me and he was like, fuck for all. I was like, 
because I think I got it. And he's like, well, what difference is it going to make now? There's no difference. It's just good to know if it is, you know, if mm-hmm. it's there like that. He was like, ah, fucking thing is, see, everyone these days got a fucking label. They've all got a fucking AD something or fucking autistic something. Never seen them when I was a fucking kid. They were just all naughty little bastards. Just went on his, like, mm-hmm. hard rant. And I was just like, I am your mind. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I mean? And then he just, he went off on one and he was like, I don't mean to sound racist, but, you know, it was the same with, uh, Excellent. You know, one black, you know, there was one black person, one Chinese boy, and one Indian boy in my school, and you never seen them out in the streets. I was like, how the fuck did we get onto this? Yeah. <laughs> they had one of each. He was like the Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, because you didn't see him because they were fighting crime, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, when I was in school, you just got stuck in a remedial class. And it was like, everyone who was in a remedial class just seemed to stay there till the end of school. I was like, because they're fucking remedial. Mm. Like, maybe. Yeah. I wanted Don't... to be in the remedial class in school. Fuck, I didn't draw and watch TV, They'd be named there when yeah, I was they were playing cord- They were and all that. And I was like, how did they get to go cordon? As a teacher like, went the most brutal yeah. answer I've ever used. I was in it. Because this is the it. best their life is ever going to get. Yeah, I was in there. <laughs> was like, Whoa. I was in there. And... Um, they didn't. They didn't call it anything like that. They, they called it fast track. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember telling my stepfather, was like, ah, the fuck they call it fast track for you? All fucking slow as fuck. That's what you're in there. And I was like, I know it's a bit of a piss take, isn't it? I fast track the door, isn't it? But when my dad was in school, it was called double set. Oh, so yeah. they started calling them the Wombles. <laughs> Whenever they were walking anyway, everyone would go underground, overground, wombly free. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. That's Sing that to my dad and he just hits me, which is class. <laughs> I remember I was in isolation before. And, um, that itself. So it went far off. No, absolutely no plaster <laughs> on the walls. <laughs> yeah. oh, but, I, got, <clears throat> I was in isolation <laughs> and I was there. And uh, so whenever I, I had isolation like once a week, but uh, I just used to tell, there's a teacher would come each time and swap. Obviously, whoever had a free lesson would be the one to sit in the isolation room with her. And um, I just used to tell him that I had art every lesson. <laughs> just had like stacks of fucking paper. And <laughs> my art teacher was cool as fuck. So every time I go down, he's like, oh, nice lesson again. He'll go, yeah, so I'll see you in an hour. And he'd just have a different <laughs> bit of artwork for you every time I went down there. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was there once. And he was this boy, Gavin, and he was a fucking hooligan. There was no other one for him. He was a proper like hooligan. And uh, he walks into the isolation room and he's like, ah, I well, we've been kicked out of then, waiting for him to say, like, uh, you know, science or something like that. <laughs> oh, out of fast track. <laughs> so, like, How the fuck did you get chucked out of fast track? He's like, fast track is basically, says, yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, another boy and came. And we fucking, because <laughs> it was three of us and this one little tiny room. They were like, oh, we can't put the three of them in. Yeah, you'll have to come into the fucking, um, <clears throat> the, what do they call it? The teacher's room, the fucking mm. staff room. Staff room. Yeah, you'd have to go in the staff room. So I me and this boy just looked at each other and we like, hi, oh, we're in the staff room, this is going to be class. So he goes in the staff room and she's like, right, I'm just going to go and get some work for wherever this fucking, like, this boy, I can't remember. <laughs> it was Ricky. And he get his work and uh, I'll be back. No, don't fuck about, like, uh, like no problem. As soon as our door closed, me and his guy, like, what are we going to do? And he's like, ah, grab him and fucking throw him in the cupboard, lock him in the cupboard. And a big fucking steel, <laughs> steel filing cabinet, like, he's like, ah, come on, eh? So two of us just jumped up, ran at him, fucking tackled him to the floor, like wrangled him like a fucking alligator. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us picked him up, bundled him in his fucking cupboard, closed the door and fucking locked it. They fucking, uh, his fucking uh, cupboard was rocking back and forth. Like, I said, like, I'm claustrophobic, I can't breathe and all that. He was going, right? <laughs> so all of a sudden, now the fucking cupboard comes right the way forward, like as the fucking staff room doors opening with the teacher who was supposed to be watching us, the fucking cupboard's like, ah, bah, on the floor. Fucking doors down. I start seeing like fucking milk and I coming out of the fucking <laughs> over the floor. <laughs> you can see blood there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Milk. And he's like, ah, I'm fucking covered in milk and yeah, get me out, get me out. <laughs> we couldn't, the three of us couldn't lift the cupboard back up. We had to go get the fucking headmaster and then he had to go and get like the PE teacher and lift the cupboard out. Fucking sugar, coffee, fucking milk, everything all over him. He's fucking crying. Absolute like, latte, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh my god, like and then um I thought I was gonna get suspended, but um if you're going to isolation, they put you on report as well. Uh. And uh 
they wrote that on my report and I had to go, man, and give my report to my brother. But instead of it just being like, she just had like um like a school timetable then, but a, like a blank one, and then each teacher would just put a little message in there, like what mm. I'd done and that. And um, and then I had to give my mother my report. She was like, ah, the fuck's this? Like staple to the back. Like fucking mm. an extra sheet of paper. It was like a fucking story, but on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking teacher coming into this cupboard, mm. wobbling and that. My mother was like, ah, why the fuck would you? I was like, ah, I don't know, man. Just fuck it. Funny. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. He's like, ah, poor fucking boy. What if it was you locked in the cupboard? I was like, ah, I'd have walked in the cupboard if somebody had said, go and hide in that cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got sent uh, twice. You ain't claustrophobic, you dick. Yeah. Uh, I got sent twice I later once when I was in school. Got fucking sent there once. <laughs> to be fair, it was for Ed Button a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did she deserve it? Yeah, she fucking proper deserved it, but I had this O2 back, Ice she? phone there. Yeah. I had this O2 Ice. I was playing some sick Marilyn Manson tracks. Clearly, that's oh, where yeah. my inspiration for female abuse came from. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know he was shocking girls pussy with a violet wand and stuff. <laughs> Good old Brian, like. <laughs> Brian. Brian Warner. Um, she slapped the phone out of my hand, and she was like one of the alternatives. I don't know why she was acting up like this. I was like, all right, guess I'm dealing with that. And she smacked me across the face, knocking my glasses off. And I was like, right, I guess I'm dealing with that. And then she got right up in my face and said, and what are you going to do about it? And then a little voice in my head said, you ain't dealing with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just went, click, click, click. And I just threw my head through her head. And then the little voice was like, excellent work, but you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, well. So... Ended up going into isolation. I don't condone that behavior, but you know, that's what I was going to do about it, apparently. <laughs> you showed the yeah. quality first. Oh, but so, so I, <laughs> I, was in iso- I was in isolation with this little rat kid. He was one of the little rat kids that bullied me. You know, Jeremy looked like a little mouse. Oh, yeah. And I'd never been able to catch him before. And I was like, haha. And you are trapped. So they put this TA, like this 22-year-old teaching assistant, who was just like, she, she was like, just let us do our thing. And I was there doing my work. And I was like, well, now was a chance for me to do my GCSE work. Oh, um, no, it wasn't GCSEs. I wasn't like 15 or 16. I was I was more like 12 when I had mine. But anyway, I was probably 15 or 16. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> And um, she leaves the room, and he goes, "So I've been you fat goth." Oh, I was like, no. "I was like, you do realize you're locked in a room with me?" Yeah. And he went, "What?" <laughs> I just <laughs> lost myself. <laughs> I'm just picking him up and shaking him and throwing him, <laughs> throwing him through the dividers. Abs- that's what they based the scene, uh, the prison scene in fucking Watchmen. <laughs> I'm not locked in here with you. You were locked in here with me. You little- <laughs> Fuck you, bud. Banging his head against desks and that. She comes in. She just looks at me. I go, like this. <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking... I traumatized another kid as well. He was fucking picking on me. So um, I just caught him in a corner. And I just started slapping him in the head as hard as I could. <laughs> Bear in mind, I had about seven stone on this kid. And I was like, for some reason in my head, I was like, I'm not going to get in trouble if I slap him. <laughs> slapping his fucking head his head's banging against the wall and I'm like ah so I had him like ah and the next day he shouts at me so I was like right what are we doing lunchtime and in between lessons so oh, I'm just gonna follow him all day just would follow him the entire day just completely fucking traumatized you, sure you were the one that bullied him <laughs> <laughs> no what, what would happen every year was like I had to fight fucking constantly. Because I was a fat goth with braces and asthma. And it's just... And glasses. It's like, I, I would have picked on me now. You know, if, if I was in a pub today and I saw that person, I'd be like, ha-ha, you fucking fatty. <laughs> Unconfirmed. <laughs> fucking Evanescence. Just sing Evanescence. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you goth. <laughs> uh, you goth, yeah. think you are. You um, goth, yeah. And then fucking... Who was the one who did uh, Numb with Linkin Park? Who was the rapper? Who Jay-Z. Did Jay-Z. For a brief time, there was a, there was peace between the goths and the chavs. Mm. Anyway, I, I stalked this child for a day. Please don't clip that audio. 
<laughs> um, stalked him for a day, and then he went up to the alternative lesbian art teacher, not the one to be pleading your case to. He goes, oh, he's been following me all day. And she goes, she just looked at me and goes, what'd he do? He's like, oh, he's been throwing shit at me and fucking. And she goes, look at him. He's twice the size. Why are you fucking with him? This yeah. is your fault. <laughs> and he goes, oh, miss. And she goes, I don't want to hear it. And she turns around, so I just slap him in the face again. <laughs> <laughs> But no, every year it would happen. It's like, um, I'd just get into fights. And then that entire year group wouldn't fuck with me. And then a new year would come up into the school. And then the year that, uh, fair play, is a very funny thing to do. We'd go, see that fat goth there? Go fuck with him. <laughs> they fuck with me and I'd spaz on him. Um, very funny. Excellent work on their part. <laughs> I remember it was a, a kid that was in, my year, <laughs> the two of them had a fight, and um, I can't remember the one kid's name. He was from Swansea Road. He was rough as fuck, and his nickname was Nails because he was hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah have a fucking name, him, name. Yeah, everyone used to call him Nails, like. And then it was a, a boy, and when they say like, "Watch your quiet ones," so he, he was like part of the alternative crew. He was like into Pokemon and everything like that as well. Oh yeah, Pokemon's got um, the name. Yeah, and there's uh, Pokemon was mainstream him, but... when I was in school. It was fucking mainstream. I don't know, comp. Ah, no, when you're in comp, yeah, that was that was pretty lame in comp. Yeah, uh, this was like you were eight or nine, <laughs> like, <laughs> and um, mm. David George's name was, and he was in like sort of my friendship group. He was just like always knew there was a little something about him, like something that wasn't quite right. Thing. Yeah, and um. Yeah, his nails was picking on him one day and he went, Do you know what? I've had fucking enough of this. He took his bag off, took his hoodie off. And he was like, Let's fucking have it then. He's like, What, you wanna fight me? Uh, come on, fucking have it. And this fight went on for ages. And it, the old school had like made a fucking circle around him to watch his fight. And he was like watching a fucking, it was like a UFC fight, but it was fucking missing teeth. It was split eyes and everything. They were fucking going for it, right? And, um, it was like the older kids were like making another circle around our circle to stop the teachers getting in so we can let his <laughs> fight go on. Like, and um, I'll never forget his fucking his shoe came off and he had Pokemon socks on. And his girl <laughs> shouted, Ah, look at him, you got Pokemon socks on. And it was like, Oh, that fucking that damn meme of the anime guy where he just goes, ah, oh, And it's fucking it. Like. Yeah, super <laughs> sad. He just fucking, he did that. He, the fucking, <laughs> only thing that was missing was his head catching fire. He just went fucking, yeah, look at him, I am the light him. in the darkness. Yeah, <laughs> but he grabbed all of him. He fucking battered him. He went down on his knees. He fucking kicked him in the face and then he took his fucking head off and then he picked him up and threw him into the side. Another big fucking Zulu bins. Oh, fuck fucking yeah. boom, threw him into that. And then the fucking teachers managed to get him spit him apart. But they were fucking battered at all. They sent the two of them off the hospital after it. He mm-hmm. fucking hammered him. And I can remember the same boy. And it was like, remember like I said last time, it was like, when you were in school, whoever sort of beat the bully up, you then become like the hardest one in, of the school. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. hardest in the year. Yeah. New hierarchy. So, like. Yeah. And um, he like, it was like he knew that he could fucking handle himself, but he didn't want to. He didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he never, never looked for a fight. And, um, yeah, this other boy started fucking picking on him and having a go at him about something, and he fucking punched him in the head, and his head hit the fucking stone wall, and he got knocked out, and his fucking eyes went in the back of his head, he slid down the wall, and he, he thought he killed him, and he fucking he ran away from school. This boy, when he sort of come round, he's like, that's side. when he gets out his Pokeball, and he's like, I got a name. <laughs> Pikachu, please help yeah. me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I remember this boy getting up, and everyone was like, Panicked then because no, because he dropped the floor. We were all kids, mm. and we see people like get knocked out from the telly, you know. And this was like the first time again, but he ever really seen in real life. And his boy got up and started falling everywhere, and he was screaming, I can't see, I can't see, I blind, hmm. I can't see. Oh, that no. kid had a yeah. fucking high power level, but mm. yeah, my friends him now on, fucking, on Facebook, this boy, and he's a fucking unit. Is he? He's a fucking, oh, he's a fucking beast, but absolute beast. And then I was talking to someone who was in school with about him, and they were like, oh, yeah, as soon as he became, like, 18, 19, he started not drinking. That's all he did not fight. Like, he'd go up. <laughs> it was like something that snapped in him. He's like, you can't keep fucking... I can't keep the demon. Pushing it down, like... Oh, yeah, and he just fucking... He just used to go out and fucking pick on people. Like, he'd, he'd go out and try to fight bouncers and the fucking biggest men in the room. He'd pick on Roy Deads and stuff like that. Mm. And fucking... 
<laughs> yeah, he's just tra training his levels up, isn't he, for yeah, the man. gym leaders? Yeah. <laughs> back at, I was like a boy, fucking John. He used to buy an amp with him. We were like, started drinking in pubs with like, I don't know, like 15, 16. Mm. So sneaking in rugby clubs and uh, it was like all the girls over with us now were year. They had all, all the boy friends and all the boys used to hang out with us. So we were like fucking 18, 19. Johnny boy, fucking his pub just started giving him shit. And he just went and he's like five foot five, normal looking guy. Not skinny, but you know, not fucking muscular. Just like a bang average. Mm. And he just went, she had me again, and he'll be on our fucking floor. And he just went, What the fuck you can do is that? All right, let's go, just grip this bouncer. <laughs> Threw him on the like on the fucking long, fucking padded uh seats there, but fucking like bar lounges and that. Mm. Threw him on them. Sure. And I never seen just like he's the first time in the pubs, I'd never seen like a fucking bar fight or anyone fighting inside. You know what I mean? School fights outside. Just fucking gripped him and just laid the fucking shit in there. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. All the other boys pulled him off. All the fucking rugby boys. His fucking bouncer's face was fucking swollen up the fucking... God knows how fucking... What his normal face fucking looked like. And then massive fucking split all, all his eyebrows split all. But I didn't see the fucking white stuff. Just just Your before this like, fucking born. Just come, before the born. It's like, it's like that. that blue, blue, white and red. It's like fucking... I was all split open. His fucking cheek was split open, and his lip is fucking blood everywhere. Like, Jesus fucking Christ! Johnny. What the? F I'm like, who the fuck are these people? Are these fucking girls? <laughs> fucking don't. Where's the fucking truth, man? Some of the fucking quiet ones. You've got to fucking watch what you fucking do to a man. I just don't fuck with people. Don't I? Yeah, my um, my gypsy friend Dan from Slashley, he's banned from Slashley Town from drinking <laughs> in Slashley Town. There's photos of him in every pub because he hit somebody once, like. Ten years ago on a New Year's Eve, he hit them once oh. and fucking shot the day Joe. Because Ooh. he's a gypsy as well. He fucking mm. um yeah, they fucking thing. He had like a five year it was just plenty used to be really bad for fighting and stuff like that. And if it were if you got caught fighting, no, you could have an ass ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The social behavior. Mm. Bob was called, wasn't it? Bobbed. Was it? Yeah, you've been bobbed, so it was <laughs> breach of or band or whatever it was yeah. for. But the, the words were bobbed. And he was like, oh, I've been bogged. And I remember him putting on Facebook saying, uh, yeah, first person in Slantley Street to have a five-year bob. And it's up tonight. Can't wait to go out there and be out to Slantley for ages. And then about an hour later, he's like, ah, well, fuck me. They put it back in place. He just put it straight back on. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Fact, yeah. and the thing is, now what? He's a fucking bouncer. <laughs> as well. Right. Like, he, he can't you bounce in Slantley. <laughs> yeah, he can't drink. He's correct. Uh, Why would he be the perfect bouncer? He could never be pissed on him, can't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's funny back. as fuck. Classes. His brother is a fucking beast as well. Brother's like some fucking British heavyweight fucking boxing champion. He's fucking mad. Go on Snapchat and it's like, <laughs> I'm going round today cutting grass if anyone's about. Fucking wants a grass cut. He's just like wandering the streets of the streamer, like charging old ladies 20 quid to fucking cut the grass and that. Or fishing today. Gone on my fishing gear. He's fucking rammed in a little car. Like, he's funny as fuck, he is. All right, as fuck. Any more press in business for the almighty cast, then? I think so. Not for myself. Oh. Fucking Bulin, gents. Well, it's been nice. nice to see all of you. Fucking hell, it's nice yeah, to have... Nice to check in. Nice to see you, Pete. Uh, this is Nick. That's we need Nick. We need to plan camping soon. I want to go camping in May. I'll be up for that. Yeah, let's all yeah. go camping. Do some um, shrooms. Fuck, I... Oh, I got a nice... Uh... My missus bought me, this is gay as fuck, but it's pretty cool. It's a, a cookbook full of D&D recipes, but like they've just made like nice food, but like pop like fantasy them up. And it's got a mushroom tea recipe in there. So I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> I want a D&T like, oh. cookbook. D&D, Dungeons no. and Dragons. Like, yeah. I thought, I thought D &D this was D&T. No, no. Uh, I was, I was sold like for a minute then. <laughs> I was sold for a minute then. Yeah, it's just, it's got a funky tea recipe in there. So I might give out a bash for us. And just well, swallow some soup mushrooms. Banana. <laughs> Let's jump in the group chat now at the end of this and we'll sort out a weekend to go camping. Okay. Oh, we need to do wings uh, next month as well. Well, for wings next Oh, month. yeah, wings mm. next month. Absolutely. I thought that was tomorrow. Are you going tomorrow now? Evan Evan's kid. Oh. Well, uh, me and Rob are going. Are you? Yeah, you can come if you want. Oh, I don't. I was sold then until you said Rob going. Oh, you like Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Rob. I'm only Skitty Rob. likes Rob. Skitty fucking loves Rob. Yeah. All right, it's nice to to like someone, really, isn't it? I know. <laughs> if, 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 if I can swing it, then I'll, I'll try them tomorrow. Yeah, man, six o'clock. Well, no, five o'clock, Pete. Yeah, five I, 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 I mean, the fact that they're I'm going to job. After You'll still be late. That, you You'll will always be late. late. Yeah, don't make a difference. See, that's, that's what you do to me. That's the stress, <laughs> that is. 
Uh, I don't think I'll get down there for five, mind. No, six yeah. o'clock it is. Five I o'clock for Pete. Six then. All right, then. Oh. Okay. So seven, so yeah. I'll keep. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll just. If I can come, I'll come. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah, <laughs> All right. We'll sort something out then. All right. Love you, boys. Hello. 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 Hello.